everybody, it's Brandon Soriano here in the back room of Norman's Rare Guitars for a new episode of Guitar of the Day. Woo! Today, woo indeed, because today <laughs> it's Flat Top Friday. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> This is a really cool guitar, I'm kind of a Martin nerd, so uh, we're going to nerd out about it. And uh, Lemo is still out on tour, so uh, you know if, if he's coming to a city near you, he's touring with an artist named Alan Raymond. So go ahead and look that up. I think he's both the opener and he's playing guitar for Alan. That's true. So if you want to go see a, a Lemo double bill, uh, check out where Alan is touring and go check him out. But in the meantime, we're all chipping in to fill in here for the show, and uh, I'm really excited that I get to do this one because just, oh my god okay from 20 to first of all <laughs> wow when have you ever seen a case like this i love it um and I actually i don't think i have i've done this a, this is the only while. one i've ever seen i've never seen a blue case like this jen's been doing this longer than me she's never seen a blue case it's like pretty this. cool and it's from martin so from 2010 this is a martin d42 blackwood Ooh. Ooh. Ugh, this is a really crazy guitar, man. Wow. It's so cool. So there's just a lot to talk about here. I'm going to try to keep it as concise as I can, but we're still going to dive deep, I think, because it's worth talking about. So this guitar is from 2010, and they only made 10 of these things. This one in particular is number three. Wow. Number three out of 10. And before I even flip it over, um, they use... Tasmanian Blackwood for the back and sides. Tasmania is a very small plot of land. I believe it's even smaller than Madagascar. So when you see, you know, Madagascar Rosewood, all that kind of stuff, this is even more difficult to get your hands on and it looks very good. Wow. <laughs> it looks really good. It kind of looks like Koa a little bit to me. Um, and the sides have this flame going on. It's just a crazy guitar, man. I mean, to see this configuration is is so cool, and the sound is really killer as well. So let's talk about everything that we can think of. D42. The D stands for Dreadnought. That's the larger body size. Dreadnoughts first came about in the earlier 1930s, right around there. Martin developed them uh, with the Oliver Ditson Music Company, who was their distributor at the time. And they started off as Ditson D111s, D212, or D222s. That turned into D18, D28. Um, so that's what the D in D42 stands for, dreadnought body size. Now the, the number at the end refers to the style of the guitar. Um, the style is a combination of the woods that they use as well as the appointments, things like the binding, the features, all that. So on this one, it's a D42 Blackwood. 42 is one of the highest numbers that you could get um, at Martin. Uh, 45 is kind of the most common super high-end guitar. They've had like a 100 and some limited stuff. But in general, 42 is going to get you uh, abalone top binding all the way around, as we see right here, as well as binding in the middle of the rosette, as well as binding that goes on the fingerboard extension down there. Um, and this is all just gorgeously done. It, they did a really great job with the binding. On the outsides, you're going to see maple binding on both the front and the back and it's kind of flamey too so that's really cool um you're also going to see the snowflake inlays also abalone uh which are gorgeous and very just cool looking uh you're getting binding up the neck as well this uh they call the flower of life I think it's like fleur de lis or something like that. I don't know. Um, that's that's what it's called. It's gorgeous. That's all I know. It looks really cool and it's very fancy. And this is perhaps one of the coolest things I've seen on any Martin. Look at the tuners. Can you zoom in on that? They're freaking engraved. Engraved tuners. That's so cool. This is like, so I'm going a little too hard on this one. I'm, I'm nerding out about it, man. It's so rad. This is the diamond volute on the back of the headstock. Helps with structural stability, and it also looks rad. Uh, the neck profile on this is kind of like a V-shape, which I really like, especially if you're doing finger style stuff. I think a V-shaped neck is great for a pivot point for your thumb. Um, this is an Adirondack spruce top. So Sitka versus Adirondack is a very common conversation with acoustic guitars. Adirondack spruce uh, has a bit of a different appearance to it. Sitka is usually a little more uniform and it has really thin grains kind of going across, whereas Adirondack has a tendency to get these wider set grains. And and they also are a little less consistent. So you'll see in the middle here, they thin out, really thin lines, but out here they get wider. So definitely an Adirondack top. 
very nice sound. Uh, the top of an acoustic guitar is so important for the resonance, and this really does the job. Um, inside, the binding is forward shifted scalloped X bracing. Okay, let's talk about that. Did I say binding or bracing? I'm binding. not too sure. Let's talk about the bracing. Um, X is just the pattern there of uh, the way they brace the guitar on the top. They do have to put basically strips of wood underneath the top to stop it from collapsing under the tension of the strings and all that. Um, so the X bracing is a Martin thing. It looks like an X. The forward shifted part though comes from the golden era uh, back in the earlier days of Martin where the, the center point of the X would be shifted more toward the sound hole. It's like right here. Whereas a uh, non forward shifted is gonna be set back a little more. Um, there's a lot of uh, conversation about the forward shifted bracing. People really like that for both the sound and the stability. And the last part of the equation is that it's scalloped. So you have these strips of wood inside that they actually carve out the meat of in the middle, uh, which helps with keeping the guitar lightweight. It helps with resonance and uh, overall, it's just a cool feature. So I think I've blabbered on enough about this thing. There is some paperwork in the middle compartment here. Um, you have some, it says, important documents enclosed. I won't pull them out because they're kind of stuck in there. <laughs> I looked earlier. It's just like, you know, care, registration, congrats on your new Martin, that kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, this really has it all, man. This is a crazy guitar. I didn't even say everything I could, but the video can't be an hour long, so sorry. Um, without further ado, we're going to stay back here today because the acoustics actually have a really nice sound in this room. And I'm uh, gonna stay on this stool here. Oh, okay. All right, so we're in drop D for this one. Uh, gonna do a little medley. I've played these things on here a few times on Guitar of the Day, but I think for this guitar, I've, uh, they're some of my favorite pieces to play. Gotta do it because they sound so good. So here we go.
Beautiful. This, is, this great. is so great, man. I want to play just a little bit in standard so that you can. There we go. So you can hear that too. Cool. Problem is, what do I play in standard? Oh my god. Uh, here's an original that I like playing. I think it'll sound good on this one. This is the 2010 Martin D42 Blackwood, super rare guitar, freaking incredible guitar. And uh, it's available right here at Norman's Rare Guitars. So check it out on Reverb, we're on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, all those places. Again, my name is Brandon Soriano. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Bye. That was awesome. This that was fun. This is really, oh my God. Crazy. I'm freaking out. <laughs> <laughs>